This is a map of India's lakes and reservoirs with data on the total surface area and volume of water lost for each lake and reservoir. Why is this map so important? This data reflects how climate change is affecting water bodies directly. The water from these lakes or reservoirs is evaporating due to increased warming of the planet, leading to a substantial decrease in water volume. The volume of water loss or evaporation volume of India's natural lakes and reservoirs increased at a rate of 5.9% per decade during 1985 to 2018, according to a new study published in Nature Communications. In April 2018, 45 million cubic meters of water evaporated from Madhya Pradesh's Bansagar Lake, 11 million cubic meters from Rajasthan's Bilaspur Reservoir, 4 million cubic meters from Jharkhand's Masanjor Dam, 3 million cubic meters from Chennai's Red Hills Lake. On the other hand, the speed of evaporation of lake or reservoir water went up at a rate of 0.44% per decade, the study estimated. This is low as humid conditions slow down evaporation. According to Professor Catherine O'Reilly, increasing volumes of water is escaping from India by evaporation because there is so much surface area. A rise in temperature in high latitude and high altitude regions leads to a loss of lake ice. As ice melts, the surface area of the newly formed lake increases. This causes the water body to absorb more heat. The surface area of all lakes and reservoirs in India has been increasing at a rate of 91 square kilometers per year during the period. This is primarily due to reservoirs, especially the new ones constructed after 1985. The overall area of the country's reservoirs grew at the rate of 69 square kilometers per year during the period. 76% of the area increase of lakes and reservoirs combined. Of them, the reservoirs created after 1985 contributed 58% of the area increase driven by reservoirs. New reservoir construction is a major reason for a rise in the water area and evaporative water loss. This is true even if considering the global picture. This is because most reservoirs are located below 50 degrees north and above 50 degrees south, away from the poles. Hence, they have larger evaporation rates than natural lakes, which are primarily located in the high latitude or high altitude regions, according to the researchers' analysis. Evaporative water loss has been long overlooked globally due to the lack of effective tools to quantify it. Worldwide, the average evaporation volume was 1,500 cubic kilometers per year during 1985 to 2018, the study showed. The long-term average lake evaporation volume across the planet has risen at a rate of 3.12 cubic kilometers per year. This suggests that lake evaporation plays a larger role in the hydrological cycle than previously thought. Increasing evaporative volume loss is driven by a rise in the evaporation rate, a decrease in ice cover, and an increase in lake surface area. Climate change influences all three factors.